uh, this this made me happy cry. It's such a beautiful little story that doesn't even need to complicate things, and it just it tells it so well and it tells it so raw and the interpretations can just like mean so much. Kiwi is one of the most valuable YouTube animations. This animation was released back in 2006 and I think the animation is actually stellar for that time, especially for like one person working on it. I believe two people in total, one person, his friend or something was doing the music, but um, he did all the animation for his uh, animation thesis, which is basically a final project project in order to graduate i'm pretty sure i personally really enjoy when animators put these like these projects they've been working on in order to graduate on youtube because it's just like i don't know i love seeing them pop up and seeing how diverse everything is because like with these animation projects majority of the time or at least that i've seen anyway like i've seen a lot throughout the year just pop up on my feed and i just i always watch them because they're just they're always so passionate and they're always so like focused and dedicated that's what i really like about it there's like one person usually behind the helm and they're just doing what they want to make you know they're just following a path and not necessarily the most complete path per se but like it's a path nonetheless and like I don't know, you get to see inside of their brain what they're fully thinking. The short animation I'll be talking about today, Kiwi, I feel is extremely good and ahead of its time, especially for like 2006. Like, I, I, I know a lot of people have seen this video based on the views and the likes, but um, for the most part, I, th I don't think the newer generation or like people who like grew up in the 20s sort of, 2016 era youtube they i don't think they've ever seen this and if possible i would love to just people to check this out it's a cute little three minute animation it's about a kiwi which is a flightless bird located in new zealand i believe and um there i be i believe they're having an issue with them going extinct or they have been for a long time i don't know if it's okay now but regardless of that point it's about a flightless bird who basically for the mo most part wants to fly so he ends up like basically hammering like trees into the ground into like the side of this cliff in order to like jump off of it and pretend he is flying or they are flying with sort of vague storytelling like this of course there's going to be a lot of room for in different interpretations and how you feel about it how you connect to it which i think is absolutely beautiful about animation i personally see this as like a happy thing which i i sort of need to explain this fully i could focus on the deaf aspect of the short but like I feel that's sort of doing it a disservice. Like, I don't feel it has anything really to do about suicide. It has to do about life itself. Like, this Kiwi really wanted to fly. And so it worked hard in order to get there. And and you might you might think this is crazy, but like I feel a lot of humans, myself included, like I am willing to push myself to lengths in order to get like this one beautiful moment it kind of reminds me of like if if you know like the old trope of like you know an old person or an old grandma or something like that going out in the park and like sitting down and feeding birds like like they they've accepted death and they're just um they're just okay with just letting life the last like aura of their life being like dissipated by their happiness this sort of messaging i feel needs to be in present day because i personally feel a lot of people feel like they need to make a lot of money or they need like to make their name known they have to like put so much up to their name and have it have longevity, which I don't feel people are supposed to have longevity. I think they are just supposed to accept that like, you know, I am who I am and my circle is my circle. You know, it can expand of course, but like I don't need to force and like chase this thing that just, it, it, it just doesn't exist, man. You have so many people on like YouTube or TikTok who are just trying to gain so much fame in such a fast amount of time and just like, 
basically abuse it and they're making like they're making children copy them it's it's such a sad thing to see it seems like a lot of people are just lacking in morals integrity and like just being real being themselves they're just focused on polishing these things up in order to sell money in order to build themselves up so that like i don't know they can have a luxurious life but like I don't know. I personally feel you can have a luxurious life in different ways. I know that's stupid to say, but I I definitely do. I don't know, man. I feel like this new internet age has brought like a lot of insincerity and just lust in all these other bad morals, bad faiths to live by just by storm. Like people are being I'm a person who's super sarcastic, but I had to go to therapy to learn that like if you're always sarcastic, nobody's gonna fucking talk to you, dude. <laughs> so much of my personality back in the day used to be just full on sarcasm and full on like walls because I was so damaged, I was so hurt. And, and, and like, um, it, it, when it came time to like, I don't know, talk sincerely about something, nobody really believes you because why would you believe someone who's always sarcastic, always joking? And, like, I don't know, is always having, like, a mental breakdown every five seconds. Like, they can't take anything serious, so why should you take them serious? And that's not necessarily a fuck you to other people or myself at all. It's just saying, like, I, I need, I think this world needs more sincerity, more love again, and more reasons to be happy, to find that one moment that really, really matters like the work doesn't necessarily matter it is a part of the journey and it should be like enjoyed or it should feel like a hardship but at the same time like that one moment of like love sincerity where you're just embracing something that you've done that like you've shared with the world i i want more of that <laughs> and i know i know how cringe and lame that sounds but I'm getting older, man, and the more I mature, I just, the more I just don't like, I don't like a lot of the online spaces, man. But yeah, 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 that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm 